Were you from this community originally? Yeah, I was born raised right across the river. Yeah. Up in the country or? Yeah, over in the country. Yeah, this country here. Mm -hmm. Which way of mouse button book? When when did you start? You said you started working for the company. Yeah, I started working for the company. Uh, for the Social Security started. Mm -hmm. So it been in the 30s. And then yeah 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 it must have been about 30 what? He started 36. I thought I must have started work about 35. Mm -hmm. But I didn't work great because I just wrecked when it rained and rick and wreck down here. They had to had some water gate to did mill run on water then. Mm -hmm. So you would work after the rains, raking out stuff. Yeah, out I'd rake it. Yeah, it had some something like a rack where the water go through that, make mm -hmm. that pulley, make that thing turn. So you clean that out. Yeah, I worked on that. Cause it wasn't me. It was, a, I don't know, sometimes it was ten or fifteen of when the weather get bad. Mm -hmm. So what what would you be doing when they um when they didn't need you down here at the mill? Uh, nothing. I say I lived down here on the river. Every time it come a rain, I'd go down. I say I'd hit wreck raker, cause now they had men in the in the mill. They come out scrubbers. Mm -hmm. They come out and help. And work on that too. Yeah, they work on that too. It took a crowd there. They're trying to keep the mill running. See. Now, when did um when did you start working full time for the mill? I believe it was in '42. 42. And what mm -hmm. did you start doing at that time? Find the boy. Find the boy. Yeah. How, how did you get that job? Did, did you know somebody or? Yeah, well, you see, I, I born and raised that around whoa, here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to spit. Okay. That's where I'm going. Okay. Uh, I was born and raised around here, see, and I hung around the ball house, and I didn't have to learn about it. Hip them out. Mm -hmm. So you just knew them? I didn't know how to, how to fire the ball. See, I hung around it. Sometime I lived up the holly and it'd be night. I wouldn't go home, I'd stay all night. When did you move here to the village? About 43. About a year later? Yeah. So where was you living all the time before? Up, up uh, the country? I, uh, across the river. No, I lived across the river. I went to the milk, milk dairy. To the what? The milk to cows. I went to the milk dairy for mm -hmm. about eight or ten years. I ain't never had but two jobs in my life. Which was working for the? Working the milk dairy and down the company. Who owned for the, who owned the milk dairy? Uh, Norman Brown, Inez Brown. So that wasn't connected to the mill. No. Mm -hmm. What was this community like when you moved in here? Oh, it was a gang of chillers here, and wasn't no road, wasn't no road there. When I come home, I had to come. Uh, I think the road stopped right there, but it's rough right there, and I had to come through that lady's yard to get here. So it's just these houses up here just sort of sat? No, it wasn't no house up here. There wasn't no church here. No one up. Are this the last two houses? Yeah, these are the last two houses. The rest of them out the line. Go down here and go out the line. Mm -hmm. There's 22 houses here. Mm -hmm. 21 or 22. One, one or two got burnt down. Mm -hmm. So in the, in the 1930s, early 1930s, you were living on the other side of here. Now, 30, I stayed in the holler, 1930. Mm -hmm. I was in the holler, back, back, back of Maysville. And we stayed there for 18 years. And I married and moved across the river. See, I was working across the river, and I married and moved across the river. I married, uh, we've been married about 50 some years. Was your wife here from Pathlet? Yeah, she. Yeah, she's born down here on a little mill down here, for you, uh, place down here for, on Pine Street before you get to the before you get to the mill. So she's born in one of these old company houses. Yeah, well, she's born in the company house, yeah. Mm -hmm. When did you marry her? When, uh, what? When did you marry her? Oh, in, I believe, 40. 40. So what kind of, what, what, what kind of jobs did all the folks do who lived here on this village? Well, uh, when uh, 404, uh, Roseville come here, wasn't nothing but we were a lot of mules. They had about 25 wagons. When Roseville come in, they put on, see, they running 12 hour shift down here then. Mm -hmm. When Roseville come in, he cut it down, you know, when he come in, he cut down eight hour shift. They put on three shifts. It wasn't but one shift down there then. They put on three shifts. Eight hours. Three eight hour shifts. Mm -hmm. 
What did y'all think of that? Hmm? Were you working here then when they put the eight hours on? No. That was no, right before No, you. no, that's before I started to work. But your friends were working, your family oh, was yeah, working. Oh, yeah, no, that's, my mom used to work in laundry. Mm -hmm. Used to be a laundry down here. My mother worked to about 27, 28, she's in the laundry. What did people think when they changed the hours down to eight hours? Well, they liked them eight hours. She wasn't making 40 cents an hour. Because I like it when it's... Because mm -hmm. my rate raised up. See, when I was raking rack, I made 40 cents an hour. Because when I first started, I wasn't making my 25. What did people think of Roosevelt? Like, oh, they liked them. Now, when they went on the eight hours, did that, do you remember, did you have family that was working? Aside from your mama, did you have um, any No, my any? mother wasn't working when, when they went on eight hours, no. Okay. Okay, and any, no, they done closed the laundry down. By that time? By that time. Mm -hmm. So who was, was any of your mother, any of your wife's people working down there? Oh, yeah, she had a bed. What was your wife's maiden name? Uh, uh, she's a Wanamaker. She's a Wanamaker, okay, so. Yeah, her daddy, her daddy, her granddaddy worked down there. Mm -hmm. Her daddy worked down there, too. Mm-hmm. And it, they, so they must have been working down there when Roosevelt came into office. Yeah, he was. He got, uh, her granddaddy was driving a wagon. He had about 15 wagons. And when they put in that eight hours, did that cover the black folks and the white folks? Yeah, the black folks had to wait eight hours, too. Mm -hmm. See, the black folks wouldn't make it, but I paid the house, I was making 20 cents an hour, I was making 25. The black folks were on the with the mule. Yeah. They farmed, they planted corn all the time. See, they had to plant corn to feed the mule. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you remember, I guess you must know, back in 1934, how old was? 16. Hmm? You were 16 in 1934. Yeah. Yeah, I remember way back then. Do, do you remember when they had the um, the big textile strike down here? Yeah. I used to go out and pitch horseshoes. Huh? Yeah, I pitched horseshoes, but I, see, I wasn't working when they strike. Uh-huh. See, it's that way in 34. In, in th about 31 or 32. Hmm. It's like this before Roosevelt come in. Before Roosevelt came mm -hmm. in, in 29, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they struck again later. Huh? They struck again later, didn't they, in 1934, after Roosevelt came in? The big month-long uh, strike. Oh, let's see now. They, they struck by, six, by three months. Because mm -hmm. uh, they had the silver hole shoes down there next to, next to the bridge. None of the big trees there, that's where we pitch hole shoes at. I'd go down and pitch horseshoes with them men. Even though you weren't working there? No, I wasn't yeah. working there. So you were pitching horseshoes with the union men? Yeah, with the men. No, there wasn't no union here. There wasn't no union here. Because uh, I tell you, uh, about what, 29, if the union, if they tried to get it here. Mm -hmm. And it's about six head knockers, mm -hmm. they fired them all. Was they all white? Yeah, they was all white. And they fired them all. And they never did get no more job. So you had to work for the company to stay in the house. It's just real the company house. Mm -hmm. I give $1,200 for this house. Mm -hmm. So in 29, they tried the first time. Yeah. And they fired a bunch of them. Yeah, they, and that, that was that. Yeah, they fired them. There wasn't no union here. There ain't no union to haul in the South Carolina. Draper had a union one time. Yeah, there. and Clifton. Well, I think it's a little, some kind of little union, of course. Yeah, I don't Draper know. did. Do you remember when the men over here in Packlet they were building a hall where they would have meetings? It was after oh. Roosevelt got in. Yeah, it was a hall down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We called it YMC. It's a old top company store. Company store had about three stores in it. They used to, you know, that's what Mr. They used to have meetings on top of that company yeah, they store. Had, yeah, they had meetings on top of the store. Now, I believe that some of these men who were trying to organize a local union, they had a meeting there. I don't know now. I don't know. I don't know where they had the meeting there. Now. Uh, 
the colorful folk didn't mess in the white folk business. <laughs> so was the union white folks business? Mostly? Yeah, that's white folk business. They white folk started it. So y'all pretty much stayed out of that. No, we. Uh-uh. See, the colorful folk didn't start working the mills till about what thirty, thirty-three. They were doing them scrubbing. So it, it took them that washing, long. Washing the mill, mm-hmm. clean, them that long. keeping the floor clean. That's all they were doing. Yeah. But uh. And then what? And then what? What? What changed after? The, after you well, said thirty uh, three. Yeah, about thirty three or thirty four. They put three a uh, few colors in there to fill batteries. Working the weed shop. Really. Yeah, filling batteries. About three or four coat women they got in there. And they kept adding them. Then they got claw boys there. Cloth boys in the cloth room. No, they worked in the cotton mill. The, mm-hmm. Took all cloth. Oh, when that cloth gets so big on the loom. Mm-hmm. Dolphin the cloth? Yeah, the cloth gets so big. See, the loom made the cloth. Weed right. the cloth in. And when the when the cloth gets so big, them dolphins would dolph it off, take the cloth off. Mm-hmm. They put a gang of color in there. there. Are any of those folks who were, who started to work in the mill still living? Most of them did. I didn't get in the mill till about forty. What? I think I think I I retired at eighty two, and I stayed in the mill five years, about ten years. So you didn't get into about seventy two. Yeah. Oh, uh, in the mill. In See, the I found the boiler. It, it, it used but, to be. But I mean upstairs in the mill. Did... Yeah, I got in the mill then. I yeah. fired the boiler. See, I fired the boiler 25 years. Mm-hmm. And then what'd you do after that? Then uh, it was about 26, 27 years I fired the boiler. Then I went in the mill and run a, I run a skinner. Mm-hmm. Quill skinner? Quill skinner. Mm-hmm. You know about a quill, quill skinner. I run that. Mm-hmm. I done that for five years. And I got to be a grease monkey. I got a greaser loom. Mm-hmm. They had a greaser in the hall, and I was the greaser. And you did that till you retired? Yeah, I done that till I retired. No, I I done that till about a year before I retired. Mm-hmm. See, and they closed this mill down. The, the upper lower? The upper mill. Oh, they closed the low mill down. Wasn't about 55. Yeah. Which one is the older mill? It's one down the river. You can't see it when you cross the bridge. You can't see it. it Back down the river. Is that the one they tore down? They tore, they tore that. Yeah, that's the one they tore down. Yeah. Now, what about what you know? You were telling me about those those men, that man who was the leader around here. Mr. Little John. Mr. Little was it Mr. Little, and Capers the, Little Capers John. Capers Little John. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Capers Little John did. Oh wait. I ain't gonna go for it. Capers did. He 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 got young cutting grass and. Fell off the lawn. He's going to ride the lawn more than he could and crash and fell off. What was he like? Hmm? What was he like? He's it... a little old short fella about your side, maybe a little bigger. Talk right fast. Was he a leader in the community, would you say? Yeah, he, he's a deacon and then he... For he's a, Montgomery Chapel? Yeah, he's a deacon up there. Then he's a... He got... He, 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 uh, Hi. Hi. How you doing? All right. He doing? went down the mill and then he... Uh, daddy? Yeah. Yeah, he. Uh, I'm Judith. Yeah, he was a baseball man. All the books of these certain places around here. Yeah, you were talking about the the ball team. Yeah, he had a baseball team. He said they had a, a white one and a black one. Yeah. What? Well, how important was was the black team for the community here? Well, the black team played the black one, and the white one played the white one. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't play them black because they didn't want to get beat. See, <laughs> one time they were gonna play them. They were gonna have a black and white game. Yeah, no, they, but they wouldn't play. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't do it. Hmm? Oh, and Packer had a good team. Yeah. They called the Trojans. Packer Trojans. Mm-hmm. They got, they got a, uh, I don't know where you. They got a horse down here in the river, on the river. Up. Yeah, yeah. Black Trojans, Well, that's what you yeah. heard. <laughs> No, oh, they, they want. The he talking about the book. They all ball team. Yeah. What they want to know now? Yeah. One black Trojan, the other was white Trojan. Yeah, I wondered about that. I thought it was white. Well, they got all the names. All of them named down there. Yeah, they got the name. Did you ever play for Mm-mm. the Trojans? No, I was a gate man. <laughs> 
You worked at the gate? Yeah, I worked on the gate and then uh, uh, catch the fireballs. See, them black, black, them color folk, well, they were to buy the ball like them white folk. And when the ball go over the stand, mm -hmm. I'd see him see if it get back in. He didn't like the major league now. When if one hit the dirt, they'd throw it out. <laughs> but it was so rough. baseball was a big deal for y'all back then. Yeah, yeah. Well, you take uh, see they went uh, they went eight hours and days a week, a uh, uh, five days and a half. They the ball they, they work a half a day on Saturday. The ball players they get off Saturday evening. So if you were a ball Jump player, time. you didn't have to work that extra half a day on Saturday. No, no, you didn't have to work that half a day. Mm. So they had it a little bit easier than the other Yeah, people. they had it easier. Most, most all the white got in the team shop. Mm -hmm. And the it, white ball players. Mm -hmm. Boy, they give them a break when you play ball. If you're a good ball player, you can get the pack. Even, it, even if you was black, black or white? Yeah, really? you can get the pack. Mm -hmm. How did most of the, the, the black folks get their jobs here? There weren't too many jobs to be had, were there? It was rest more long then. You take a, they cut grass. See, the road wasn't, these back roads were on the mills here, they wasn't tarred then, see. Mm -hmm. Is gravel? Was it dirt? They dirt. Mm -hmm. There's a fellow out the line, King David out there, he, he's the easy clean up man, he's a back man. He could take a, about two shovels of dirt and roll it half a day. When you get through, he'll be level. Get this. See Miss Flo? He's a little old, old man. He just took his time. But he didn't get in no hurry. He just had them old round punch shovels. Mm -hmm. What were these houses like back then? About like they are now? Mm hmm. No, I put this here on here. And that fellow had it put on yonder. They had it put on yonder. Oh, a lot of them had this stuff put on. See, these houses were sold in the West by 57. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't have. So, $1,200. Uh, $1,200 mm -hmm. to buy the house? Buy the house. It took about 12 years to pay for it. So you wouldn't make much money. How much was y'all making back then in the 30s? Do you remember? I'll tell you, they make $9 a half a week. They put the old folks on our side make $9 a half a week. They get 20 cents an hour. Mm -hmm. And in the mill, the, the color fellas in the mill, they made 25 cents an hour. I don't know what the white made. I, I did know, but I forgot. And when those eight hours went in, they brought in, you know, the minimum wage. Yeah, 40 cents. That's the lowest they could pay, 40 cents an hour. Did everybody, now how did wait that for, work? Did everybody wait for, get that? Yeah. Wait for, for the hours a week. If you take them uh, the loom fixers and uh, got a better job, they made more money. Right. And the weavers. 1820 a week they can make. 1820. Yeah, I imagine. I don't know what they make. They grow, they grow. So y'all got that 40 cents an hour? like Yeah, know, they got the 40 cents an hour. Were people happy about that too? Yeah, yeah, when you wasn't making but Cause now we didn't pay but, uh, it, it, it wasn't a, didn't pay but a dollar a week on these houses. For real? 25 cents a room. Mm -hmm. These was all four, four, four rooms. All them four rooms. I built a nothing on the back back down. All these houses were four rooms. I remember when they built some of these houses, I started school out there. It's a little building out there on the corner where y'all turn around at. Mm -hmm. I was a schooler. Mm -hmm. And you went to school there? I went to school there. Even though you was living up the country? No, I live across the river. We walk over here. Mm -hmm. I wasn't but, it's about two miles from here. It's a mile from here to the mill. Then it's about a mile from where I mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That, What was the white millage like? I mean, could you, did, could you talk about that a little bit? About what? The white millage, the white village. White Village. Yeah. Well, uh, huh? White, well, White Village was across the river. It was on the other side of the river. And on this side, all back, there's some houses back young way. I don't know where y'all see them houses. If y'all come across the bridge and turn up this way, you couldn't see all them houses back. Mm -hmm. It was a gang of houses back young. Well, it used to be, the colors used to live down here on Pine Street. I don't know where the road will come straight up there. That first little village there. 
Now the colors used to stay there, that's what she's born there. Mm -hmm. And there's another little place over on the called Court Street. Color was staying on that. Cause they don't find street schools in the Gillum Town. We call this Gillum Town. This was Gillum Town then. Mm -hmm. They Pine Street, Core Street, and Gillum Town. Core Street was in six room houses, right? It was big. No, it was four room houses, but they had upstairs. Upstairs, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it was. Uh, they, they six room houses. No, they were. But they did no, have two they stores. Were, uh, yeah, they were, they were two stores. Yeah. I believe they were four room houses. Mm -hmm. Two downstairs, two, two upstairs. Up. And of course, it wasn't, but about six houses over there. It ain't no more than that. There's five now. It, 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 yeah, but uh, it was on this side of the road. It was four, and it must have been nine over there. If it's five over there, nine on this side of the road, it was yeah. some more. There's none of them on that side now. It's just one no, line. Yes, one line. Uh -huh. You all been through there? Yeah, I've been that, down, uh, down in there. So there was some on the other side of the road too, on Yeah, on the other okay. side. Yeah, yeah, it was a, it was, it was a two row of houses on each side down. of the road. Well, you see, uh, them houses on that side are up a little bank. Mm -hmm. And there, uh, there used to be a dummy coming back that train. Mm -hmm. They pulled the cloth. Did, did, did black folks work on the dummy line here? Yeah, they, they fired it. Yeah, they fired it. And Caper one fired the dummy. Caper one, you talking about out the line, mm -hmm. what they, he fired it. So he fired the boiler on the dummy? Yeah, he fired the dummy, and he fired a while, he broke, broke the wire. They had about, they had an in there, he was white. Then I had a fireman and a brakeman. And they were black? Yeah, the fireman and the brakeman were black. Who was the brakeman, you remember? Or did they have several? Yeah, they had Mac Hame one time, he's breaking, he's an old, he's, and uh, Mac Hame and Gip. They think Gibson fired the dummy when I was a little old bitty boy. And Mac Haim done the shifting, or he was the brakeman. Mm -hmm. Gip was the fire. Well, he had it, he retired. He left and got in the mill. That job got too hard on him. And they finally put on a, a gas burner. Because they had to have two work on it and three. Now, so, Mr. Hempel, in 19, you know what I'm going to do? It's a little windy, so, George, could you, uh... Yeah, I got tired of them cars. And you just come down here to work when they needed help? Yeah, well, yeah, when I wasn't working over there, I'd rake the rack down, you know. Mm -hmm. I eat, uh, Norm Brown put his, and I'd walk home. What was that work like down there? Well, down raking, raking, raking the... Well, you had a big, long, uh... God, it was about it was long on that pole there. Was it heavy work? Then it, no, it wasn't heavy. Then it had a had some forks on it. Mm -hmm. See, it, it made kind of like a, a hole. The other way, see. Then it was split. See, it forked on there. And, you, and the rack, see them little, with the hickeys in there, would go in the rack. They'd pull the leaves off. Mm -hmm. See, every time you come up, you get a bunch of leaves. The leaves would stick to the rack. Yeah, and to clog it up eventually. Clog it up. Yeah. Then I kept that open. Did they have to drain the mill pond for that, or did they just... No, they drained the pond maybe once every six months. Mm -hmm. Clean then, it all out. Mm -hmm. Like during the 4th of July, they drain it then. Sometimes they drain it on Saturday. We used to have to raise the gates every Saturday night. They closed them down Sunday, Sunday morning. How much interaction was there between the the black community and the white community? What do you say? I think it does. How, how much um, contact was there between the black community and the white village down there? Was there much contact, or did they keep their corner? You kept y'all's corner pretty much. Yeah, they they, they kind of associate together. Well, I'd go down there and play with them, pitch horseshoes with them. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't rough. It, it was only, we got some good we had some good customers in Packer. Good wife or good color. Cause now, yeah, my nickname, Hunt. Mm -hmm. You may come to Mayville, Hunt William Hempel, you may not find him. Cause I get Hunt and she get Tootie. Her name Ella, but she gets Tootie and I get Hunt. Mm -hmm. They named me Hunt. I think I must've been about 13 years. I got out in the room with them, slammed it through the room with them and I ain't woke no. mm -hmm. in nine months. They called me Hopper, and one fella couldn't say Hopper, and then he said Humpy, and I got that name, Hopper. 
Is there anything else from the 30s? Is this your son? No, that's... Uh, old lady's sister's son. He stay out there on the corner of the other side of school, huh? So you were, so do do you recall at all when they when the when the men up at Packet of Packet and even the women some too started to organize a union? It was after Roosevelt got into office. Oh, what, 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 yeah. Roosevelt was in in 1932. He got he was elected in 1932, and then in 1933 they passed that NRA, the National Recovery Act, and that put people on the eight hours. Well, I believe them folks went on eight hours. I think they got on eight hours. Uh, I don't know, that's when, when they opened up the eight hours. The colors had, they had to wait to color, just like. Now, color wasn't in the middle. They, they had some colors in the, uh, in the open room, opening cotton, feeding in a hopper. Now, the colors run that, but they wasn't in the middle. And the colors in the open room, they got in the open room first. And when they got in the opening room, did they go on the eight hours too? Yeah, they was on eight hours too. And what about the people in the yard? They went on eight hours too. And oh. do, you, do you remember when they started to, do you recall when they started to organize the, uh, a, the white union? That first you union? No, no, they said it was about 35. That's what they claim, about 30, 35, 35. Whatever happened to those that got fired? Did they just leave mm -hmm. here? No, they didn't leave. They wife wanted, they, you had to work, you had to uh, work for the company to hold the house. Mm -hmm. And their wife was working, sir. So some of them stayed? And they kept the wife. You take this fellow across the river. I mean, no lady told my last night, uh, he's a neighbor, uh, he's a neighbor. Was he one of the ones that got fired? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he fired him and two or three more. They didn't hire him no more. Ethan Mabry? Mabry. Do you know his name? Did you know um, Mr. Kirby? Lloyd Kirby? Yeah, I know a lot of Kirby around here. Lloyd Kirby. Let's see. That must have been. Let's see, Lloyd Kirby, Lloyd Kirby. I didn't know much about the women. If you had called cold old man name, I might have known it. He's a man. He's a man. Lloyd. What do you say his name? Lloyd. Lloyd Kirby. That might be. Where'd he live? You don't know? He lived this side, didn't he? He lived, he lived on the other side, yeah. On the other side. On the other side of what? He lived in the, in the White Mill Village. Which side? Yeah, there's a, there's a Kirby boy right over here. Let that big, no, they tore that tank down. Oh, yeah. You go down here at the mill and turn up. Go, you don't go quite to the mill. Go down and cross this way, the little river and turn up. There's a cub right there. I see now. What is his name? So, you know, there was a, there was a, for about a year and a half, after 1933, the, a lot of these white men, I, I've been told, built a, built a union hall. You remember? The, yeah, here's a union hall down there. A little kid, right across. The company stores on there, they don't throw the company store down now. Right. Company store on, company store over here in the hall was over here. Well, the company store, there's a basement. And the first floor and then upstairs, that's where they had it. That hall. Right. They met there for a while. Mm -hmm. and then they stopped meeting there. Yeah. And I think they built their own place in a little forest, like a. This little thing around. What been the he could cross the, cross the road? Cause the little round they used to get up there and play band and thing across the road. It was a post office there. It was set aside by itself, and then you know, and it was next to the man that ran the ice. There was a man who ran the ice. He, the ice house. Ice house, mm -hmm. and he had a house, and his house was over here, and then he had some property, and he sold the property. Now there's nothing there. It's just greens and grass, and it's all overgrown. Mm -hmm. And he sold the property. And he built, and they, he, they, these people built a union hall. Well, I believe, let's see now, let me tell you. I believe there's some kind of little union hall over Can Hollow. Another little yeah. place they call yeah. Can Hollow. In the Can Hollow, yeah. That wasn't a little that's union, it. that was a little union hall. You couldn't build it on the company profit. You had to get off the company profit. Right. Well, uh, Gossett, I believe it was Gossett, 
had a little union hall over there. It was a barber shop over there. And one big store. And then in this holler, they built a little yeah, can, hall. A can hall, they call it. Did somebody tell you about can hall? Mm -mm. Well, he brought me over there. Somebody brought me over there. Uh... It was this old big bill, old 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 building that looked like a store, and no, vine was growing. It burned down. It was vine. I know down. which store you're talking about. I know which one. That's Bonham store. What I'm talking about. Uh -huh. And it said, but this burned down. The hall burned down. Yeah. The hall burned down. But I know. The hall burned down. Yeah. I know which store. I believe it had a little hall over. I believe they have can hall over there, all that. Cause you couldn't build nothing on the company. Do you remember? You don't remember them building it. You don't remember seeing them build that. Oh yeah, I remember a whole lot of buildings over there. But you see, the, the uh, color folk didn't fool on white folk places like like they do now. Did they ever have a union just for the colored? Did you remember? No, no, they had no union. Not in Packlet. Draper the only thing had a union. Oh, now you could work at Draper and didn't didn't join the union. You could work up back. But then we had the union, they had a better hope. Wasn't there but a racket. <laughs> if you just be in there, make no more than the rest of them. I, I, I mean, I just, you know, we found this little letter that said that there had been a, a colored local union here in 1934, 35. What do you think about that? No, there wasn't, there wasn't no letter here. Not a letter. Wasn't, wasn't no, I said letter. Wasn't no union. The colored now. No union. The only union I know that here for the colored be in is up in the Draper. That's ever, that's ever Draper had, Corp. Huh? Yeah, that's ever had the colored in it. That's the only, that's the only time. They had it, no. This was a separate one. It wasn't integrated. It was just a separate local union. One for the blacks, one for the whites. And did, you, did, did your people uh, work in any of the the white mill family's houses? Do they take care of their children? Yeah, yeah. My mother worked on the mill here. What'd she do? Oh, she cooked and tended to the show. Made two dollars a week. Two dollars a week? Two dollars a week. Hmm. Did she work for, uh, she worked for mill workers or management? The uh, family that she worked for? Oh, yo, she worked several places on the mill here. She was, cool, now she died in 35. She died pretty young. Did your wife ever work over there on that? No. Yeah, she worked on the mill here. What'd she do? So uh, maid. Cleaned up the house. Just for Boston the the or all sorts of people? Oh, she did work for them. Them working people in the mill. Mm -hmm. The bald man didn't have too many. The bald man didn't have too many helpers with him. See, the old lady, both them both, both folks, uh, see, most of them women didn't work, and they cleaned up their own houses. But down over in the working people, the white, their women, their wives worked. Mm hmm So they needed somebody to help them. Yeah, yeah. So that's, Let him say it. Sorry. Mm-hmm. They, they made. That the old lady, she knew they worked on Social Security. She worked over in the mill here, four or five different places. Now, did she work before 1935 for the, for the mill? No, she didn't start the bottle. All her children were pretty good size. Let's see. Uh, I just trying to think when she started working. I know she worked for Ruby Gay had a long time. Cause she's a nurse up Bottom You man. know, it's it's interesting. You you'd think that, that management would be the people that would have the uh would have domestic health. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't think that it would just be a... Yeah, them the big shots, they didn't hire nobody but there. Them uh there's a throw clutch. See they had a line over there, a the clothes clutch worked lived on one side, the both men lived on the other. Oh, you know, well, you, you might see all the, the village there. They don't tore all the houses down. Yeah, over on Packard Park? The Packard Park, yeah. Well, that the, on the other side was the was the both men's house, and on this side was the store, store outfit. Mm -hmm. Then we went to the office. A lot of office men on this side. And that's all gone? Hmm? And that's all gone now? Yeah, all that tore down. Yoda, 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 Yoda took a picture of that hotel. They had a hotel with a round porch on it. Hmm? So I helped tow that hotel. It took me about two years to tear that hotel down. That's up an old love by the hotel I put up there. Wow. Well, listen, is there anybody else that, uh, is there any of the women who live here on the village that, uh, who worked for, 
any of the mill people back in the 1930s? Still alive? Uh, Mary Cat, I don't know, she can't hear you. Uh, y'all, 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 if she's well, uh, she's older now. Is Ethelene here? Yeah. Ethelene stayed around here, Coach. I, she's been bad twice. There's another laid out the line. Mary Cat. Ethelene, them about two the oldest in here. What is that, Marie Little John? Yeah. Yeah. Mary, you don't talk with her? Yeah, we talked to her. She hears pretty good. Hmm? She hears pretty good. <laughs> you can't to get a door. I mm -hmm. go out and take a produce, and you can't hardly get a door. Y'all have been out talking to her today. Mm-hmm. Her daughter's down there from Detroit. Yeah, yeah. Well, they had diff in the family. They didn't right, bear right. that sin lady yesterday. Yeah. Right, right. Wow. Well, listen, I, if, if any of the black workers who were working here back in the 1934, 35, if they, if there was something that they didn't like, they had a problem with something, if they weren't joining a, a union like those white people did, how did they... How did they register a complaint? They didn't think what come. That was the dumb. You, didn't, took what you come. didn't register a complaint. They didn't think what to come. You go to read and say it. <laughs> you didn't say it back at all. You had to leave, yeah. Now they had a, it, it used to be a core up there. They had a gang of house core. Mm -hmm. And when you lose, uh, lose the job back, you had to move the core. You had to get off the profit. And, uh, he had to wake at Pat to go to school out there. So that school was just for the Packlet children? This, 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 this was Packlet. Company paid them. So down yonder was, they had to cross that bridge, it was the, the white door down yonder, and color was up here. Because in that little, you know, it was two room school house up there when I first started school in 24. That's where I started school up. In 1924? Mm hmm. And that strike, do you, did you see people, did, was there any kind of a picket line or anything like that? Did you see any activity? No, it wasn't a picket line. Mm-mm. They had yeah, to take what the white folk put on you. <laughs> hmm? I ain't going to pull it off. Okay. I ain't going to throw my back off. I don't think it blowed on you. Don't worry about it. Well, is there, is there anything else that you might be able to help us out with in terms of understanding, like, uh, 1933, 34 around here? Was the Depression bad down here? Oh, yeah, they were up down here. Put, yeah. I mean, who was there? Put, uh... And what'd y'all think about President Roosevelt? Huh? What'd y'all think about President Roosevelt? Oh, he was fine, because, uh, uh, uh... Well, who was there? Because now we got that flower. Uh, the company used to give it up. I mean, I used to get flowers on the company. But finally, it, they had too many. Dr. Hill, uh, Robert Hill was the head of the doctor. And he had too much on him. And so all I saw wasn't working there. They had to go to back the station and get the, get the flowers. I remember one time I was getting 225 pounds. I went to pack and got 75 pounds. <laughs> and I couldn't told it. <laughs> I told his bees though. I told about four men I own the cone, them three sections. Um, and in terms of like you said that, you know, if you didn't do right, they'd throw you off the mill hill. Oh yeah, if they fire you, you had to go. You couldn't stay, yeah. What types of things did they fire you for back then? Hmm? What types of things would they fire you for back then? Are you lay out? Uh mm -hmm. get drunk. Go in about half drunk, sir. They fire you. What about the people that lived in the, uh, in the, the white village? They'd fight them too. They had to get out. Well, you see, you take, uh, had they put on eight hours, and they got shit of them, they got shit of the mules, and, the, and when the mules left, the other niggas had to go, part of them. Mm -hmm. They kept two wagons. Had a wood wagon and a feed wagon. See, folks raised hogs and things around on Mill Hill then. Right. Yeah, I bet you it was 30 hogs, uh, maybe 50 hogs across the river. So, and what did y'all do with those wagons? They sold them and sold the mules. And the mules? And kept two. 
the men who'd worked on that had to leave. Yeah, they had to go out the jobs. They lost the jobs. Some of them they, some of them they put them in the mill and different places. But some of them had to go. Some of them had to go. They had huh. too many. Huh. Yeah, you used to have a little old whistle. See the, uh, they went to work at seven thirty. See the mill went to work at seven o'clock, and they went to work at seven. They a little old bit of whistle. Y'all could hear it all the way out here? Oh, yeah, you can hear it. Great day. They used to blow every morning five, five, five thirty. I had to wake up whistle. Then they blow it 10 minutes to 7. And uh, I wish they had the, 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 the dime that I blow them whistle. 10 minutes to 7, the road again at 7 o'clock. And that was start time? That started time. 10 minutes, that notify you get there. Of course, now when they, when, uh, when they put them eight hours on, they had buses. They had a uh, company out of a gang of buses. They'd go get hand. Really? Yeah, they had a hmm. bus. They had a gang of foot. They were running three shells. And the buses, it was about 12 or 15 buses. They'd go down. Uh, Bringing them in from the country? They'd go down to Jonesville. Jonesville. Mm -hmm. Go to uh, White Stone. Mm -hmm. Go down here and pick up people. You didn't have no trouble getting to work. It didn't cost you nothing to ride that bus. Hmm. Now, do you know that at the same time that they had that strike down here in Packlet, that they were having a strike all over the South and all over the country? Yeah, yeah, yeah they say it happened all over, all, all, over, all over the country was striking. They struck for, what, an eight hours? That wasn't striking for, wasn't it? They wanted better money. Huh? They striking for, I believe they striking for eight hours or something. Well, they, they had the eight hours. I think they were, they were striking because there was a stretch out. Stretch out or something, I don't know if I don't And they wanted recognition of their union. Which they didn't get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but so you knew that there was a strike all over the country. Yeah, yeah. What did you think about white mill workers organizing into unions and all that? Well, mills? I was young then, I didn't. I took, because I didn't have, because I, when I first went to work, I was making a dollar, a dollar a week in, in my house rent. See, we stayed down here in, I was uh, working away on that dairy. Mm -hmm. They were feeding me. I was bold. I'd get down on the supper in dollar a week in my house rent and get all the wood I could burn. Cause that could burn, make me two dollars a week. <laughs> Cause now, what but what before? Two girls and me, I was the baby. And what, and uh, how did the town think about the. The Mill Hill, the other part of town. And I tell you, they had to take what they put on them. Cause now they, they, they had to have them everywhere. Cause it might have been a little different. Well, you, cause now you wasn't here then. No. <laughs> wasn't even thought of. <laughs> you wasn't here then. They had to take what come. You take when who was in. One time we were getting good bread, and the next time, man, that bread was dark. <laughs> you couldn't order, you couldn't order, you didn't have no money by no Lord. I tell you what I used to do. We still in the country then, we moved over here in the country. We had a little old whole farm. And, uh, being over there, and then I'd go over there and sing for them. Shine the shoes and talk water. Did you say sing they, for them? Yeah, I sang for them. And get my knickers and dime. Well, no Monday morning come. Sing or swing? No, I sang, sang. Sing a song. Mm -hmm. For the white male workers? Yeah, no, I was singing for them boss men. Oh, they'd be half the drunk. Boss men? Yeah, they're boss men. They're big shots over there. And I'd shine the shoes. <laughs> sing for them. They'd pay me nickels and dimes and quarters. I may have $2 when I leave there. Hmm. And Monday morning, I'd go to the store. How old were you? Hmm? How old were you when you do doing it? I was about 13 years old. Hmm. I'd go to the store and buy enough for the last four a week. Get it What'd you sing? Anything I think would say. <laughs> Any kind of song. Blue, Christian song. So this was for the for the boss man and the man. Yeah, the boss man. See, they had a house over there. You know, you know when you get half drunk, they'd come over there, they'd put a drunk to look and have them parties and things. Yeah, I'd go over there. Oh, it was like a little private house? Yeah, it was a little private like house. Like away from their house? Yeah, away from their house. Yeah, they wouldn't do that here on the village, would they? No, they'd go around in the country. Barton Green, just big, them boss men down there, they have a big time. Man, I'd knock a rat more than money. Get enough to buy something to eat. 
see uh, a big can of sand wood but dying. Sugar was meat was three hundred pounds of sugar was sugar was the cent and a half pound. Gotta get a dime worth of sugar. Ten cents worth of meat. Maybe a can of salmon and can of some sardines and lime sauce and all that junk. You were okay. Hmm? And you were able to eat. We had chicken and eggs. Read, read, read a lot of chicken. Did you raise hogs? Yeah, we'd have a hog. So, and I just have one last question. The, the, so the black community, did you also, I mean, did you take care of the, you didn't take care of their animals, the white, the mill workers' animals or their, anything no. like that? I used to feed hogs with both brown at dinner time. When I wake up we are non brown, I was feeding hogs at dinner time. But not here on the village? Hmm? But not here on the village? Yeah, I'd be on the video I'd live across the river there and see, I'd wake up at that dairy. So when you had spare time, you'd come over here and do that? No, I'd go there and did the hog was across the river too, and I'd wake across the river. So it was dinner time. I'd eat dinner, then I'd go feed his hog. It was, it was about 15 minutes to feed his hog. It wasn't fun. <laughs> All right, one last question. Just, like I said, we, you know, one of the reasons why we, why, what I've been, wondering about is it seemed like Packlet definitely had uh, some of the black workers and had must have been talking with some of the white workers who organized uh, their union and maybe they organized their own black union you never heard say that mm -mm. don't think it happened you <laughs> no it didn't happen yeah. would you have heard about it if mr no yeah i heard about it if Mr. Not Little John. Yeah, Capers Little John. If Capers Little John had had been uh No, he wasn't on, in, No, he wasn't on the union. If he's in union, he had to leave Packman. He's what? He had to leave Packman. Yeah. Even in 1934? Hmm? Even in 1934? Yeah, he had to leave Packman. But you would have known if they'd ever tried anything like that. Hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Maybe he can tell you that. See, that uh, Mary Reed was Capers. Uh, Susan Long. Yeah, yeah. Wofford's wife. Would they mm -hmm. hang you then if you done that? Ask him. Oh, would they hang you then if you hmm? done that? Would they hang you then if you tried to die? No, they ain't hanging nobody. Um, no. They tried to kill a bunch at Taylor Colquitt up in Spartanburg, the yeah. creosote plant in 42. So a bunch, bunch of black workers tried to organize a union, and the whites set fire to some of them, chased them out, beat them up. Well, unless you had some protection. Mm -hmm. Let me take this off. Thank you, Yeah, thank you so much, Mr. Apple.